Hello, welcome back to another video. I hope your summer has been going well so far. Today we are going to be painting jellyfish. Last summer we painted the beach, so this summer I thought we'll paint something that's inside the sea. So that's actually our first word of the day is the sea or la mer. Okay, so We'll start just by doing a general outline of the jellyfish, which is actually our second word. So, jellyfish, or in French, une méduse. So, the top of the jellyfish will go about here. And if you'd like, you can just take some water to do a bit of a semicircle where you think the jellyfish is going to be. So, I'm going to put mine here and then have everything go on a little bit of an angle. So here's the big top. You can pick whatever color you would like. Today, I think I'll go for something blue. But jellyfish come in all sorts of colors. So if you want pink, you can do pink. And I thought a jellyfish would be a good time to start talking about different watercolor techniques. So what we're doing now is wet on wet. So we started just by wetting the page and then we're dropping some of the wet paint onto it. Now I wanted to make the top a little bit bigger. I'll take a slightly different blue just to make it interesting. There we go. And then you can round out at the bottom a little bit like this, and then start to take different colors that you like. Now make sure to keep the color a bit light up at the top because we'll put a dark inside of the jellyfish. So just keep this a little bit lighter. But I thought we'll add just a little bit more of a different color here, so we'll keep going with that lighter blue or turquoise. And then spread it out with, with some more water. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to let this dry completely before we put a different color on top. So just, we can leave it like it is and start to work on the bottom. Now, the bottom part of jellyfish are called the tentacles or les tentacules. And, and remember this for one of the quiz questions, when you get stung by a jellyfish, if you're swimming in the sea, it's the tentacles that can sting you. So if you see one in the ocean, don't touch their tentacles. So we'll start by again taking another nice blue and putting it a little darker, super free and easy, just along the bottom. We'll take a slightly different blue, all different colors or whatever color you're using, you can start to mix it up and put different colors all together. And the fun thing about jellyfish is that it's really free and easy doing this painting today. There's really no way that it won't look like a nice jellyfish. Okay. Now, take a little bit of a darker one here because I just want to drop. You see this is wet on wet again. So as you drop in the darker color, it spreads into where the rest of the wet paint was and gives a really nice effect, I think. Now for the second part, make sure that this is dry. So touch it. Mine still looks a bit wet, so we'll just give it a moment. And you can just play around with the tentacles at the bottom while we wait for the top part to dry. Mm 
and if you want, if you have time, you could maybe do a second jellyfish. Today I've only left room for one. If you've been following me, you've probably only left room for one. But if you haven't, you can put another little one here, you can put half of one, anything that you'd like. All right, so this is feeling a little bit more dry. Hopefully it's more dry than I thought. So we're gonna take a much, much darker color. So if you're doing blue or pink or orange, just mix not much water with your paint so it's something dark like this. And we're going to do the inside of the jellyfish. So you'll do the same general shape, but just on the inside. So mine, as you see, it was still a little bit wet, but it's okay. Okay, so first we fill this in to do the inside and then we'll start to add some fun colors to it. And then I like to give it a little bit of um, angles to it because it wouldn't be a perfect, perfect circle. So see here, that's not a straight line. I just think it makes it look a little bit more realistic. Okay. So once you're happy with that, you can start adding in more of the darker colors. Again, more wet on wet. So you can drop in some color here, drop in some at the top, and especially keep lots of dark color at the bottom here. Then we'll do again more wet on wet, but with a more concentrated turquoise. It was probably too concentrated here, to be honest. So I kind of switch it around a little bit. And just moving it around. And we like to keep a little bit of light in the middle. So if you want to just drop some of your water, it'll spread the paint out. And again, give you some of that dimension. Okay, so at the bottom here, we're going to again put a little bit of the darker colors of blue or whatever color you're using. So here I'll take this one, it's just a little bit different, and mix it with this. The blue, darker blue, just to get a slightly different color and make it interesting. So we'll put some along here, just dab, 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 dab. Making sure to leave a little bit of light color in between. Okay. Now, again, we want to wait for this part to dry and it will be quite wet. So we'll go back to the tentacles or les tentacules, if you remember the part that stings. Okay, so I'll go back into this same blue where you can pick any color you like for the tentacles. I'm just going to stick with blue. And then we'll go do really free little tentacles like this wherever you'd like for them to go. There's really no, no wrong way of doing this part. You can make them squiggly or straight. And then we'll drop a little second color into it like this, just to make it all interesting. So maybe I'll mix these two colors together to make a new shade of blue. And again, just doing little squiggly lines wherever you'd like for the tentacles to be. 
And if you see it gets a little patchy like this, you probably just need a little bit more water mixed in to make it a nice solid line. And I thought maybe I'll do a slightly more purple color just to be interesting. So I'm gonna take some of the pink or a red even will work and just mix it in until you've got something that looks a little bit more purple. I thought it needed a little bit more blue and then I was ready to go. And then maybe just one more. You can go on top or next to some of your other tentacles, depending on what you think looks just right. And then I thought maybe I needed a thicker line over here. Okay. Now the last part really depends if this is dry <laughs> or there's two more things we'll do. So what you can do is either take a piece of paper to dry it. I don't have one, so I'm just gonna wave it around a little bit just to make sure it gets dry. All right, you could do it for longer, but I'll, I'll see what we can do with it being a bit wet. So we'd like to give a little bit of texture up at the top by drawing little lines at the bottom of the jellyfish. So take any color of blue, darker is probably better. So I actually mixed a little bit of my really, really dark blue or even black to make a nice dark line like this. That was probably too dark. So mix some blue back in. That's just perfect. Okay. And we just want to do little brush strokes going from the bottom up, mostly from the side. We can even do it in that clear part. Just be careful not to make them too, too dark if you're in the lighter part of the outside. You can make it much more concentrated. So whenever we're drawing details, ideally you want it to be much more dry and you want a really concentrated color. So not a lot of water and a lot more of the paint and then I'll give you a nice dark, a nice dark line for details. But if yours is a bit too wet like mine, don't worry about it. I think it still looks really nice and it still gives texture. And you can always go back in after, once it's more dry, to give more detail. Now the last part, and this is always my favorite thing for us to do, is to splatter a little bit of paint. So mix in any color you want. I'm gonna pick this turquoise with lots of water. And if you have another pencil, or I just use my finger, and splatter a bit of the paint. I wanted a bit of purplier tone, so I'll again take some red, some pink, and mix it in and make this really nice purple. And then you can either take a clean brush and dab it in if you think it's too dark. And I thought we need a little bit up there. And there you go. Just have some fun adding that little detail at the bottom of the jellyfish. You can add some darker colors to the tentacles once, once the bottom is dry. And just keep playing around until it looks just like you wanted it to look. So I hope you all had fun today painting a jellyfish. And I hope if you see a jellyfish in the ocean, you 
Say hi and you don't touch the tentacles. Have fun.